<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's me, Sailor Moon, and it's me, Queen Barrel here, and today we're going to do a video talking about Dusty Rhodes, legendary wrestler, color commentator, booker, former general manager of TNA, and also former general manager of NXT, and how he died Thursday of last week from kidney failure at the age of 69, and how he left behind his wife, his two sons, Goldust, Dustin Ronalds, Dustin Rhodes, and Stardust, Cody Rhodes, Cody Ronalds. Now, everybody is probably really familiar with Dusty Rhodes' stents in World Championship Wrestling and World Wrestling Federation. But he also wrestled in Mid-Atlantic World Championship Wrestling, Championship Wrestling from Florida, Championship Wrestling from Georgia, World Class Championship Wrestling, the Central State Wrestling Association. He also wrestled in Tow and Onstop Action Wrestling. And he will be missed. I mean, his unique wrestling style, his unique interview, unique interviewing and promo, Vinette style, will never be replicated by any other wrestler. You know, Dusty Rhodes was a very influential wrestler. He had a lot of fans and supporters, no matter what promotion he was in, no matter what he was doing. You know, he was the common man who was a son of a plumber, who worked for the, who represented the common people. You know, and... Yes, he did win many titles. He was a multi-time NWA heavyweight champion in multiple territories that he was in. Yes, people may remember him as may remember him from his remember him from his two stents and World Wrestling Federation and World Wrestling Entertainment and World Championship Wrestling. He will be missed, you know. I feel really upset for Goldust, Dustin Rhodes, Dustin Runnels. Stardust, Cody Rhodes, Cody Runnels, his two sons, his wife, his friends, and everybody else who knew him. He also worked in NXT, WWE's Development Territory, Sibuary, developing new wrestlers, coming up with their characters, working on new things with those new wrestlers. You know, his achie his achievements and his and his uh quiver and the things he has done for wrestling will always be there. He's up in heaven now with God now, and Jesus, he's at a better place. Okay, so that's like Queen Beryl said. Some of the younger wrestling fans might not be familiar with the American Dream Dusty Rhodes or Virgil Runnels Jr. Virgil Runnels Jr., as his real name was. But I'm sure if you go look back at some videotapes of him on YouTube and Daily Motion and what the V Network has up, you become more accommodated with him. He was a very good wrestler. Besides being a wrestler, he was also the former head booker of WCW on three different occasions. He also was the former head booker for TNA at one point. Yes, he did run a wrestling promotion called the, the Terrell Roll Championship Wrestling after his second stint in World Championship Wrestling came to an end. You know, a lot of people will miss him. He was a good wrestler. He was a good husband and a loving father. And all the things he did, no matter all the things he did in wrestling in and out of the ring, I don't think any other wrestler is ever going to be able to read to replicate any of that. You can put Dusty Rhodes in the category of Hulk Hogan or Randy Savage or the Ultimate Warrior or Sting or Ric Flair or Brad Hart or Shawn Michaels or The Rock or Steve Austin or even John Cena if you want to. And neither of those wrestlers, I don't, he was just as popular and just as influential of all those wrestlers I mentioned. Dusty Rhodes will be missed. Rest in peace. He's up in heaven now with God now, and Jesus is at a better place. I'm Sailor Moon. I'm Sailor Queen Barrel. I'll see you tomorrow.